Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Hydro Series H80 and H100 liquid CPU coolers. Installing the Hydro Series CPU coolers takes only a few minutes, and I'll show you how easy it is. As long as you know how to get into your PC and you're comfortable with a screwdriver, the installation should be no problem. The Hydro Series H80 uses a low profile pump assembly with a micro channel copper cold plate and split flow manifold. The liquid is cooled using a double thick radiator and two 120mm fans. It can be placed almost anywhere where you can install a standard 120mm fan. It will work with virtually any enthusiast grade PC case on the market. It includes mounting brackets for Intel and AMD CPUs and an illustrated quick start guide. The Hydro Series H100 offers extreme cooling performance. It uses a dual length radiator, so it requires a case with dual 120mm fan mounts on top. The H80 and H100 share the same super efficient pump assembly. It has a digital fan control button that allows you to select from quiet, performance, or balanced profiles. It can also be monitored and controlled using Corsair Link, which we demonstrate in other videos. The system we're using for the installation uses the Obsidian Series 650D case. The motherboard is an ASUS P8Z68-V Pro, which uses the Intel LGA 1155 Sandy Bridge CPU. We've outfitted it with a Gigabyte GTX 570 graphics card and 16 Gigabytes of Dominator memory. A Corsair Professional Series HX1050 provides plenty of power for this high-performance system. We'll start with the H80 installation. After powering down our PC and disconnecting it from the wall outlet, we're removing the 120mm fan that comes with the Obsidian Series 650D. We'll use the same fan mounting location for the H80 radiator and fan assembly. The two included fans draw cool air from outside the case and in through the radiator where they cool the liquid. We recommend this for most installations, but if your case is already well ventilated, you can experiment by reversing the positions of the fans so that they exhaust air from inside the case. To allow a little more room to install the cooling unit to the CPU, I'm not attaching the second fan for the moment. The 650D, like all Corsair cases, allows easy access to the CPU backplate on the back of the motherboard. Your motherboard has holes around the CPU for installing mounting brackets like the one included with the H80 and H100. The mounting bracket works with all current Intel and AMD CPUs. If it doesn't immediately fit, just slide the pins on the bracket until they line up. Now we attach risers to the pins on the mounting bracket. I've removed the memory modules to give me a little more room around the CPU. The next step is to attach the pump assembly to the risers. We tighten the bolts using a diagonal pattern so that pressure is applied evenly. It's similar to the science of attaching a wheel to a car. Now I'll install the second radiator fan. Now we make the connections. First I'll plug the two radiator fans into the cooling unit. Then we connect the three pin connector to the CPU fan header on the motherboard. And finally, we connect the four pin power cable to the PSU. And that's all it takes. Our system is ready to go with the Hydro Series H80. The H100 installation is similar since both units use the same super efficient cooling unit. The difference is with the H80's radiator and two cooling fans. The fans can be mounted to draw air in or push air out of the case. You want to mount them to provide maximum airflow. It's common to have exhaust fans at the back of the case. If your case is already set up this way, then you should mount the H100 fans so they pull air in. As I mentioned earlier, the H100 is designed for cases that have mounts for a standard 240mm radiator. You'll need 50mm of space to mount the entire assembly inside the case. The digital fan control button on the cooling unit lets you choose your cooling performance. Quiet mode spins the fans at a range of lower speeds and is perfect for when you're not putting too much stress on your system. When you're playing a game or otherwise giving your CPU a workout, the balanced and performance modes kick up the cooling power. Even in performance mode, the H80 and H100 are quieter than some stock CPU fans, so you may just want to leave it in performance mode all the time. Installing each of the kits took only about 10 minutes and all we needed was a screwdriver and a quick start guide. 
If you get stuck, we have a team of professionals to help you along. Thanks for watching.